Hey Tovians, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tovia Agun back again with another exciting video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, you are welcome to this amazing family. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do that right now. Turn on your post notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment telling me what you like about this video. Oh my god, guys, have you all seen the new iOS 14 update? I know, right? It is actually the best. Like, this is the best features I have ever seen since the iOS update. Like, I actually love this new update and I'm actually obsessed by it and i actually share some of the posts on my status and on my story on instagram and a lot of you asked me how i actually did it how i was able to customize my ios 14 and this is what i'm gonna be sharing with you guys on this video because i am actually obsessed by it i love it and i can't stop looking at my phone screen i'm just gonna show you guys how my actually look which i believe you already seen from the thumbnail but in case you didn't actually see that very well i'm just gonna put it by the side so you guys can see how it look and this is what i'm gonna be showing you guys on this video how you could get that aesthetic look on your ios 14 so without further talk let's just dive into this video right now so guys to actually customize your ios 14 the first thing you need to do is to update if you haven't updated your phone to the latest ios s14 you will not be able to get all of the features i'm going to be sharing on this video so you need to update to actually get those features so i'm just going to show you guys how you're going to update right now so to actually update your ios the first thing you want to do is to go to your settings so once you are on your settings you're just going to go to general and from general you're going to say about and the software update so you're going to click on your software update this is where we are going to update to ios 14 but because i already updated my you could see over the ios 14.0 and it says software is up to date so because i already did it i would not be able to do it again for those of you who haven't done yours yet i'm just going to show you guys a photo of how it is going to look like all you need to do is to just click on download or install and then you'll be able to upgrade to the latest ios 14 so once you've upgraded to ios 14 and next thing we're going to do to be able to customize our ios 14 is to actually pick an aesthetic link so what i actually did was just go to my pin interest once i got to pin interest and then i searched up what i wanted how i wanted my aesthetic look to look like so i just pick up some wallpaper from there and some filter so you could actually use the pin interest app or you could just go to pininterest.com anyone is actually fine now you want to just search up that aesthetic look or that aesthetic photo that you want so once you've searched it up the next thing you want to do is to click on the theory dot by the side and then you can save or download your photo so once you've picked your photo let's move to the next step to customize our ios 14. now the third step is to actually organize your apps because you don't want the apps to just be everywhere looking all scattered and all of that so right now you can see i have my home screen i have another page and then i have my app library so let's assume you don't want to see another page before you see your app library and you don't want all of these apps all appear so what you can do is to tap on your phone screen just hold it down and then all of these apps are going to start dancing so once they are dancing what you're going to do is to click on the minus sign by the side of the app now it is going to ask you to either delete your app or move to app library we are not going to delete this app we just want to move it to the app library so just click on move to app library so let's say you have so many apps here and then you want to move everything to the app library so what you're going to do is just to keep clicking on each and every one of them and then once you're done you're just going to click on done so let's assume right now that you have so many apps and you don't want to move all of them to the app library or you have a way you've organized your app and you don't want to mess up with that organization so another thing you can do is to go back to your first home screen so once you're there you're just going to hold down your screen tap on it so once you've tapped on it all of your apps are going to start you know jiggling again now you're going to tap on the three dot down there 
so once you tap on it this is going to pop up now right now this is only showing me the pages that i have on my phone so for some of you it might be more than two pages or even three and so on so i only have two and so what you can do here is to uncheck the second page so by unchecking the second page it means it is going to go even no other person is going to be seeing this page again even you won't be seeing it again so once you just click on your home screen from there you're going to move to the app library so i'm just going to let you guys see what i mean so i'm just going to click on done and done again so let's say so you say merely i scroll my phone it moves to the app library instantly so this is another way you could actually just hide all of your apps without having to move each and every one of them to the app library so let's say you want that page back so what you have to do is to tap on your screen again and once you've tapped on it you're gonna click on the two buttons down there and then once you click you're gonna check your second page and then just click on done and there we have it the page is back and then our app library so for me i'm just going to take care of because i don't want the page so once you've done organizing your phone let's just move to my favorite part and the best part about this new update and that is how to use widgets so i'm just going to show you guys how you're going to use widgets and how you're going to get what i just have on my screen right now so to actually do that you are going to download the app widget smith from the app store now once you download the app widget smith let's just go and customize our ios 14 with the wallpaper that you have downloaded so i'm just going to click on open now these are already widgets that i've created so we have the small widget we have the medium widget and then we have the large widget so my front page here I actually have the medium one so i'm going to show you guys how i actually created a calendar widget so i'm going back to my widget app so once you're there you are going to click on medium 2. now why you need to click on medium 2 is because the medium one already has a widget so once i click on that it is going to temper with everything that i've done on that widget so you need to pick a medium two or you could do add medium widget which becomes the medium theory or if you've already used theory you can go for four and so on and so forth so i've only used my medium one so i'm going to go to my medium two so just click on medium two and then you're going to tap on it again so like i said i'm going to teach you guys that i actually got my own calendar so these are different styles of widget there is time there's time in locations there's a clock the week number the big day and so on and so forth so you just get to pick whatever you want so i'm just going to pick day and day that was what i used at first just pick that one you can see it's already checked that's why it is actually blue then you see the part that actually said font under you're going to click on that font so the font actually means the type of test that it is so you get to pick your test but my favorite here is the new york test which i think everyone actually loves to so you can pick that one and then you're going to click on that where it says tint color so now you're going to pick your tint color for me i actually use the gray color so you could actually pick any color you like you're going to click on background color and then this is where you get to choose your background color there are so many colors for you to pick from so i'm just going to pick the cream color now you're going to scroll down again to pick your brother color so for me i didn't really have any border color on my page so i actually went for none but that's up to you, you can choose any one so let's just as we are going to use border for this one i'm just going to pick the white one so once you've gone through everything then you love the white bother and whatever you choose you're just going to press the back button up there where the medium ash 2 is and then you're going to click on save so once you click on save you're going to close your widget now to actually bring this widget on our screen what you're going to do is to tap on your screen again and then you see where it has the plot sign up there you're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll down down and click widget smith remember the widget we actually did was medium and not small so you're going to scroll to medium and then click add widget 
see we now have two widget on the screen i'm just gonna move this one with a white border which we just did to the second page so that it won't ruin my you know cute page <laughs> so i'm just gonna move it to the second page so guys this is our widget now i want to quickly say something sometimes once you put your widget out there it doesn't actually show you that particular one which you've chosen so what you're going to do in a case like that is to tap on the widget and then you're going to go to the part that says widget down there and then you're going to go back and choose what widget it is that is if it doesn't come up as what you wanted don't mind words but most times it doesn't so you're going to just click on the one you want which is medium 2 and then save it up again and close it so it becomes it so that's how you could actually create your widget so i have two different widgets here actually i have widget with a calendar and widget with a photo and another one with a test so i'm going to show you guys how to quickly do the photo so i'm just going to run through it guys so what you want to do again is to open your widget smith so once you've opened your widgets me you're going to look for the small widget because this one is small so i'm going to click on small three because small one and small two I already add something there so i'm just going to click on small three and then you're going to tap on it and then i'm just going to run through it and pick the one with the photo just click on photo this is the style click on photo and then go to select photo choose photo so I'm just going to pick this photo over here. Once you've clicked on it, you're just going to press back and then click on save. So that's how you could create your widget. Now go back to the screen. So right now we don't have this widget here. So how are we going to get here? Remember, you're going to tap on the screen, click on the plus sign, scroll down all the way to widget smith, and then go back to small widget, click on add widget, and there we have it. So that is our widget three click on done if it is that so you can move it all around wherever you want it so that's how to actually create a photo widget which is the one by the side so guys the next part is how to customize apps icons on ios for things so you see me I actually have instagram over there i have my youtube studio and i have other things of this how you're gonna do that is actually different from the way you do your widget so we are going to be using a separate app for this which is the shortcut app this app actually comes with your iphone so you're just going to search for the app shortcut And then click on it to open so what you want to do next is to click on the plus sign of there and then you're going to click on add action and then click on screen and then go to open app and then you're going to click on shoes and then you're going to choose the app you're going to be doing so i'm just going to choose my pin interest app so what you're going to do next is to click on the three dot up there and then give it a name so once you give it a name just click on done and then go back to the three dot up there and then click on add to home screen so once you click on add to home screen this is where you need to put your photo otherwise it is going to appear like this so you're going to click on the icon of the pin interest and then click on choose photo so now you get to pick the photo that you want to use and then you can resize it move it increase it however you want it and then just click on shoes and then click on add and click on done and done again so yeah we have our pin interest app on our screen so guys once i click on my pin interest app this is going to take me straight to pin interest but you saw that it actually went to shortcut before pin interest and this is what a lot of people don't really like but i don't actually mind so guys that is how to actually customize apps icons on ios 14. so another part that i love about the ios 14 and also my favorite is the back tap feature you can just tap twice on the back it's a screenshot or you could actually do anything you wanted to do so i'm just going to show you guys how you're going to do that part right now 
so to actually use this back tap feature all you need to do is to go to your settings and then you're going to go to the part that says accessibility from there you're going to go to touch and then just scroll down to where it says back tap so with this back tab, you get to choose if you want a double tab or a triple tab. So with double tab, you only tap the back of your phone two eyes. Triple tab, you tap here three times. So once you click on double tab, now with this double tab, you can do different things. You can choose to control your center, lock screen, do different things, speak screen, voiceover, zoom, scroll down, or visit any of your apps or you could actually show or take screenshots with your double tab so this feature i really like it it is like quick access to any part of your phone so you can actually just do anything so for me i'm gonna go with the part that says screenshot so what this means is once i tap the back of my phone two eyes it is going to take screenshot so for the triple tab i am going to choose to go to youtube so what i mean is anytime i just tap the back of my phone thrice it is going to take me straight to my youtube so i'm just going to tap on my screen three times to actually show you guys what i actually mean one two so you see that I actually took a screenshot i'm just going to do it again and that actually took another screenshot. So if I actually tap three times, it is going to take me straight to my YouTube account. So now you can actually see that right now I'm on my YouTube. So guys, that is how you could customize your iOS 14. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. If you've not yet subscribed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment telling me what you like about this video. I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for stopping by. I love you all. Bye.